Let's talk about mitosis. Mitosis, along with cytokinesis, is a way for making new cells. So, to look at this process, we're going to need to start with our DNA, which I'm going to represent this way, is tucked away safely in the nucleus. In order to make two cells, we're going to need to access this DNA and make more of it. So that can, the first part can happen safely in the nucleus, and that phase is known as interphase, which is part of the cell cycle. Mitosis is part of the cell cycle, uh, and actually interphase comes before mitosis. And one of the necessary parts that happens during interphase is replication, where we make more DNA. So now we have double the amount of DNA. I've actually made sister chromatids. We can't see those yet, so we'll have to come back to that one. Let me put that on the back burner here over at the side. All right, now that I have double the amount of DNA, I can proceed into starting mitosis. The first phase of that is going to be prophase, and I'm going to need to have a little more space to work here, so let me put my DNA there, and I'm going to surround that DNA by my nuclear envelope. So I have a nice big nuclear envelope there. So this is just looking at the nucleus. Here I have double the amount of DNA. Well, I need to be able to move this around. So a couple of important things happen during prophase. One, all this DNA, this messy bunch of potentially tangled DNA, needs to organize itself into something I can move around. And that is our chromosomes, which come in pairs. So remember I got a pair, one from mom, one from dad. I have a long pair, I have a medium pair, I have a short pair in this illustration. Now, I've already made duplicates of those chromosomes uh, that I talked about before. I actually have sister chromatids, which I'm making here now. Now, those would have happened during interphase. So I've entered prophase with this, but now I can actually see them because I've wadded up that DNA into these highly coiled chromosomes with sister chromatids. Now, the next thing that happens during prophase is I need to be able to move these around. And so during prophase, this nuclear envelope goes away to give those microtubules that come in from the side and grow into the centromeres and attach a way to get to them. Otherwise, the nuclear envelope would block them. So those microtubules are going to line up all these chromosomes in sister chromatid fashion. It's all part of prophase, and some people will add a prometaphase. Once they're all lined up, now I'm at metaphase. Metaphase, i got to be sure that they're lined up. I have to make sure I have a microtubule attached from one side and the other side. That's important because the microtubules are going to pull these guys apart. Actually, they pull themselves apart. But if I'm not attached from both sides then and only attached from one side, then both of these are going to go this direction, and that won't really work. I'm trying to divide up these chromosomes evenly. So at the beginning of anaphase, that's a simple one to recognize, these chromosomes start to pull themselves along those microtubules. One of the chromatids goes each direction. And so now I end up with my chromosomes on each side. I started with six. I now have six over here and six over here. Just right for making a new cell that was like the other one. And so I go into telophase at that point where these chromosomes start to uh, disperse a bit so they can be used. So they stop looking as much like that. They go back to their sort of original format. And we put our nuclear envelope back around them as well. Same thing over here. DNA uncondenses. We put our nuclear envelope around it. Now I have two nuclei, so I'm done with mitosis, 
but I don't have two cells yet. And that's where cytokinesis comes in. A lot of times cytokinesis happens at the same time telophase does while these chromosomes uh, are being uncondensed and being circled up in a new nucleus. The cell itself starts pinching in in that membrane and pinches the cell in half uh, in plant cells, it forms a new cell wall. But now I actually have two cells, and that's cytokinesis. And that's the goal of mitosis, is to make two cells just like the one I started with.